a satanic panorama. And the closer we got to Gaiara, the more sinister it looked. The belching oil fires lit by the Islamic State had created a hellish atmosphere as day was almost turned to night. Passing a gory IS propaganda poster, we were part of an Iraqi army convoy heading to the center of this ravaged town. It would have been logical to assume the place was deserted, and yet it wasn't. After what they'd been through, their hesitancy was understandable. However, slowly but surely, it dawned on the people of Gaiara. Their liberation was at hand. This is what restoring freedom looks like. We'd come in with the Liberation Force, the Iraqi Army's 9th Brigade, and as people came out to welcome them, it was hard not to get caught up in the mood of celebration. Soon hundreds of ecstatic people were jubilant on Main Street. We are so happy because this is our victorious day. Daesh have been kicked out of town. This is a big deal for the Iraqi armed forces and for the citizens of this town. For more than two years, these people have been held captive here, prisoners of the barbarous Islamic State. Now at long last, the darkness is lifting. Tragically, there were those who could not join in the celebrations because it's all come too late. This woman was crying because IS killed three of her sons. All the people here endured cruelty and shortages during the occupation, and the food brought in by the army was gratefully received. The men had been forced to grow beards. This one said it was a relief to be able to relax once more and be clean-shaven. I asked this girl why she was still covering her face. She said it was a two-year-old habit that would be hard to break. This is the Iraqi army's biggest victory yet in the push towards the city of Mosul. Gayara is a town of 15,000 and it's clear the battle fought here was urban warfare at its most brutal. This debris perfectly illustrates exactly what the Iraqi army were up against. It's the remnants of a bulldozer that IS had crowned with explosives and tried to use in a suicide attack. Coalition jets spotted it instead and a missile destroyed the machine. Strategic in location and valuable for its riches in oil, IS defended the town with all they had and lost hundreds of fighters in the process. The army quickly began vetting men of fighting age to determine their allegiance and to see if IS sleepers have been left behind. In the meantime, preparations are underway for the next assault. Rarely seen here, these are American soldiers crossing the Tigris on their way to setting up a new forward base from which to provide support to the Iraqis. After their shameful retreat from Mosul two years ago, Iraqi confidence is building. They are vanquishing the barbarians and setting their victims free. John Irvine, ITV News, Gaiara, Northern Iraq.